All right, so today, doing a walk around of the car, um, recently picked up a good amount of subscribers. Also, I'm about to do a remix on the car. About to make a whole bunch of changes. Um, take some weight out, some everything. So, uh, I'm going ahead and uh, take the hood off, uncover the motor and all the stuff, and show y'all what's about to go down. All right, so after I got the brand new transmission built, put it, uh, put the car back together. Um, me and my uncle loaded it up, took it out and tested it. Um, the car did all right. Um, found some problems. Test it got uh, cut early because of brake line issues, which you can see right there. And the other side is the real bad side over here. I said it was just leaking real bad. Yeah, right there. So like I said testing got cut short because of uh, you know. Got this thing wound up out there and brake pedal got soft and I got ready to stop. <coughs> Luckily, it ain't get real out there, but, uh, you know, that cut testing short. And, um, but yeah. And then on top of that, vib uh, the reason why I stripped all the wiring out of this car is because the vibration from the solid motor mounts and solid transmission mounts and the motor shaking and so on uh, has some shorts in some of the wires so i just decided to rip it all out and redo it like i said before i'm going to make a fuse panel so let's go on to the inside of the car show y'all what i did in here strip the dash out um uh uh I'm building a new dash to put in here so that'll be coming soon i said this is pretty much just an update video and walk around for the new subscribers and update some of the old subscribers of what's going on. Took the uh, fuel pump and the uh, fuel cell out. Uh, I had a 10 gallon fuel cell. I might put that back in for the time being, but I do got a new fuel pump I'm putting here. I had a quick fuel fuel pump, but I took that off because it was starting to get silent. And usually whenever they start doing that, they're going out. So I'm upgrade my rear axle. Right now, I got stock 26 flying axles in here. This is a 10 bolt 7.5. Um, I'm gonna keep the 7.5. I'm just gonna upgrade the axles, upgrade my uh, go to a 28 spline axle by Mosier and uh, change my uh, spool over to a 28 spline spool. Probably put new bearings in and everything. Um, then I'm gonna hit my shocks and springs until I put my exhaust back on. Um, I'm thinking about cutting the tips off and uh, running some straight back. Just cut them off from where they are and just run them straight back. That's what I'm thinking about. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet though. But uh, yeah. Oh, those are Dynamax bolts that I got too. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I said it's just an update video. Um, let y'all know what's coming. And uh, some of the parts get here. I'm going to go ahead and get to work and uh, start turning some wrenches. <laughs> 